They would come in, the girl would twist in, and then the guy would twist her back out, and then twist her back in, and do a couple other twists and stuff like that. Now, I'm a natural dancer, so you know I could pick it up. And I was getting the moves down. <laughs> I was getting them. I was all of that. But nobody would teach it to me. <laughs> nobody would dance with me. None of that. And then every single time a guy would come around and try to dance or teach me anything, they would come and see my sisters, my big sisters. That was it, not me. <laughs> Ooh, every single time. Mm -mm. And the one they tried to pair me up with, Ooh. your boyfriend. <laughs> he was nice and everything, but all he wanted to do was sit close and rest his arm on my neck. And that shit was so uncomfortable. <laughs> but she let him, because you didn't want nobody calling you no bull then. <laughs> every, every single time he did come up, though, I would immediately get crazy. <laughs> He would tell them to go home and tell them that I was sick, and then he would give me some hot coffee and make me feel better. <laughs> Could have been on Broadway, Hollywood, Thank you. listening to other people's advice. Baby girl would have been just fine traveling the world with her mama. <clears throat> that is not your fault, okay? Baby girl didn't have nothing to do with my comatose ass dream. You or baby girl, okay? No other boys liked me, except that one. But I didn't like them either. One boy from the football team had the unmitigated gall to call me a hoe, right there, on the bus, in front of all the cheerleaders and everybody, just because he found out I liked two boys at the same time, him and the boy from the drama club. A girl can't like two boys at the same time? I was just about done with boys after that. Wait a minute, what about baby daddy? Mm -hmm. He wasn't from school. <laughs> he was from church. <laughs> he was so and sick in baby daddy. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with baby daddy when I was 12. He was 17. So for a few years, it was an unrequited love. He was way too old for me. But he didn't act though. By the time we got together, I was 14. He was 18 going on 19. Now, how did a 14-year-old get the attention of an almost 19-year-old? Well, it might have been the way I read the World Book Dictionary. It would just happen to be reading the World Book Dictionary when I saw him walking down the street from his grandma's house, just stopping by to say hi. I figured a much older boy would have to be much smarter. So I set out to learn more words <laughs> so I could converse intelligently. Oh, or it might have been the way I showed him the very uses of that screwdriver set that my parents purchased from him from Junior Achievement. I used that thing all the time to tighten screws on the kitchen cabinet and drawers. There was one just small enough to tighten my eyeglasses. <laughs> And I sure do. <laughs> Boy, it might have been that I won the love of my life in a game of spin the bottle. <laughs> but in the meantime, in, in the, the meantime, meantime, in the meantime. I believe even when we're not ready, life is the preparation. It sets the standard. It helps us to keep moving because life is still moving. And when I looked at the meme, if you notice, it's a lot of things in the background. And so sometimes as life is going and we may not be ready, we have those background things, background noises, background people that we're still accountable to. And so even though we may not be ready, the life is still preparing us, grooming us, stretching us, and structuring us so that we can move on, so that we can go to the next goal in life. Because we may not feel that we're ready, 
But the higher power, again, always has a plan in the midst of whatever we're going through. And so our life is not our own at the end of the day. It belongs to him. So what we're not ready for, he already said, he's already prepared. He's already went before us. I believe that life allows us to rise to the occasion um, from where we are, but also gives us space to grow. And I also agree with the meme that life does find a way because some kind of way, um, I believe that God helps us along the way figure things out because he already knows what's happening and what's going to happen before it does. Um, I definitely see it playing out in the play because even though a lot of things are going on in the background, even though she's trying to figure out how it all meshes and matches together, life is still going. She's still getting older. Things are still coming her way. Things in the background, people having things to say about her lifestyle, what they think she is, how they may feel about her. She may not be ready to receive that, but that doesn't mean that everybody isn't still ready to throw it at her.